everyone, Gilman with LaVolthy back with our daily Apple update video where we take a look at how Apple stock traded today, some key support and resistance levels to look out for, as well as what the future for the Apple stock could look like. So real quick, if you enjoyed these videos, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and drop a comment down below if you were able to take advantage of some of the volatility there um, or some stocks that maybe you were holding that gapped up hugely today. We'll also talk a little bit about the market um, since today the market is up pretty nice nicely and sort of the reason behind that and what that could mean for certain stocks moving forward. So let me hit um, record on my computer and we'll get into it. So the key thing to notice is the, the Dow ended the day up 852 points, but at one point it was down, it was, it was up 14, 15, I think even 1600 points. It was up to 299. So yeah, it was about 15, 1600 points that it was up. It gapped up huge, right? So did the S&P. It was up, um, you know, not nearly as much as the Dow. The Dow was up 3%. S&P was up, it is up 1.27% for the day. Um, and But the NASDAQ, right? Something to keep in mind is the NASDAQ is down a percent and a half for the day. So why are some indexes up? Well, let's take a look at um, you know the vaccine news. I'm sure a lot of you have already heard, but basically Pfizer came out with their vaccine news saying, in what they have done so far, it's proven to be 90% effective. As you know, um, one of the best ways that we are planning to deal with COVID is to sort of survive until we get a vaccine um, through masks, through social distancing, through all that. Um, and so just something to keep in mind, um, as we sort of move forward. Now, what I wanna focus on next is why was the Dow up? The Dow was up because of several stocks being up that weren't tech stocks, right? So if we go to tech stocks that had been doing super well, right? Zoom video, it's down $86 for the day. Apple is down for the day. But if we take a look at, you know, American Airlines, another stock that I've invested in, it's up 15% for the day. Similarly, you take basically any airlines, right? Delta Airlines up 17% for the day. You take something like Dave and Buster's, right? It's up 33% on the day. And the list goes on and on, right? Hotels, cruises, things that people were not able to take advantage of during the pandemic are up today because now we have sort of hopes of those recovering and things that people had been putting money into, such as tech stocks, are now seeing people sort of divesting from them and moving money into these other stocks, right? Because if we take a look at American Airlines, something that I'm invested in, what we see is pre-pandemic, it was around the $30 mark, it fell as much as to eight dollars, and now it's, it was, you know, as of last Friday, it was trading at eleven dollars. Now it's at thirteen, but it has a long way to go before it recovers, right? Whereas if you take a company like Apple, right, Apple is, you know, pretty close to its all-time highs of one thirty-seven. I mean, not close in the sense that we're gonna get there anytime soon again, but I'm saying it set those highs during the COVID times. Just something to keep in mind. Um, so we are seeing like a rotation of, of people moving out of these tech stocks and into other sectors. Not to say tech is done. I don't think tech is done. Tech is the future, but just something to keep in mind. With that being said, let's actually get into Apple analysis now. Um, so if we take a look at the one day chart, Apple was down 2% for the day. A lot of that happened from this sell off at the very end. Um, and we'll talk about that. So let's talk a little bit about what happened. So we were in the one, mid 118s one um, and we were gapping up. We gapped up nicely, open here. Um, now, kind of rewinding from what I had already talked about, there were three sort of channels that we were monitoring, the 117, 119, 120, 150. I think those points can be sort of support and resistance points for the stock. As we see here, right, there are various times we pushed up past the 121.50 mark, but got rejected, came down. Let's take a look at during the day what happened. So we opened up, we pushed up, barely broke the 121, and when I put the line at 121, here it's 48, I don't mean that as an exact point, I mean that as sort of like a, here's where we could turn, right? Here's where we could get rejected, which is what we saw here. So then we dropped all the way down to our other channel at 119. We broke below it about half a dollar, um, but then we pushed back up, came down, and we tested this again, we pushed up, we barely break it over the other channel. And so, you know, hopefully you guys are getting the gist of, of where I'm going with this, is these two channels have acted like we need to break out one way or the other, or the stock's gonna keep trading in this range. 
So here we tried breaking through it one more time, came down, and then we were just at the view app, and then we fell hard kind of for the second half of the day. So we were at 120, high 120s, we fell all the way to 116. This end was a little bit of profit taking um, or a sell off just because you know it had we had rallied a lot during during the course of the day um so just something to keep in mind and um you know we are up 41 cents after hours i'm making this right after uh, markets have closed but just something to keep in mind um as we sort of you know move forward with this video so as we see here um when we we try to push up couldn't really break 119s and then we fell um, we try to push back up to 117s here. I think we are making a push towards 117 again. Um, but let's take a look at you know some of the indicators that we look at. So what we have here on the daily chart, right? Um, so these are a lot of trends I've drawn over the time. If you've been with me for a while, lower highs, lower low, higher high, higher low, consolidate, huge gap up. And then since then we were making lower highs. And then for the past sort of three days last week, we were up hugely. We were up $10 in three days. Now we're sort of going sideways slash trying to figure out where we go next, whether that's up or down. And then, you know, based and then those channels that I've sort of drawn will help us out now. What we've got here is the 20 and the 50 day moving average at the exact same point, which is 115.92. We didn't really visit that our low just set right before close, it was 116.05, but that high 115s could act as support if we were to visit it again. And then oh, I just put the same line. Um, let's take a look at the EMA. So we've got the eight EMA further at 115.46, 21 and 34 at 1528 and 1514. And then we've got good support down in 113, um, showing shown both by this horizontal line as well as the 55 EMA. So something to keep in mind, right? Where, where do we go from here? I think it's really important to see how the market is doing, right? We went up hugely today. We did sell off into the close, but at the end of the day, we're still up 900 points on the Dow. So do we see a little bit more of profit taking tomorrow? Something to keep in mind, but more so for Apple, right? It's a matter of, look, are we gonna make a push towards this 117? 